Good day, I'm Dimpo Mukwena and today I will be doing a live hack. The live hack I'll be performing today is intercepting HTTPS payloads. So first things first, I want to explain everything that I'll be using. I'll be using the Kali Linux operating system. It's for cybersecurity professionals to test security of web applications. And then I will be using um, DVWA, which is my vulnerable website that I will be hacking on. And then I'll be using Burp Suit. So Burp Suit is a set of tools for penetration testing. And then the cyber attack I'll be performing today is Cluster Bomb. It is basically automated payloads to attack all the web applications. So as you can see over here, I have my Kali Linux that's running on my virtual box and I'll just log into it. So on your screen, you see the DVWA website, which is the website that I will be hacking. So today we'll be doing the brute force hacking. We are going to turn our intercept on and then try to log in with random username and user password because they are unknown. And then as you can see here, we have intercepted the website. So here we can see that this is the request, the HTTPS request. Yeah, and then here on username, you can see that's the random password that I typed. And then over here, you can see the username and the password, the logins that I use that are incorrect, right? So the first thing that we're going to do is, so the first thing that we're going to do is send the request to the intruder. So you just right click, send to intruder. And then you click on intruder. And then as you can see, this is the request that we sent to our intruder. And then here is the incorrect username and this is the incorrect password. So we go on, it's taking time to load the thing. So on our username, we are going to add markers. So this is our username, this is our password. So we have to add markers. So all you just do is just double click on the username for it to be highlighted. And then you add the marker. Then here's the password highlighted and then I'll just add the marker. So as you can see, the markers are added on the username and the password. So the next step is to add payload positions. So we have two payload positions. Position one is gonna be your username and then position two is gonna be your password. So, and then the next step, we are going to choose the type of attack that we're, we're doing. So the type of attack we're doing is cluster bomb attack, as I've explained earlier that it just use automated payloads to attack any web application. So this is the attack cluster bomb. We choose it from sniper to cluster bomb attack. So let's start with position one. So you go on payloads, choose the position. It's position one, which stands for the username. So we have to change the payload type to runtime file. And then as you see, it's highlighting the username over here. And then we are going to select file and then go to user, share, word list. Let's look for word list. Uh, this is word list over here. Click open. 
go to Metasploit, click open. And then as you can see here, we have the text documents. So this one is the HTTP default user. It's basically all the like simple usernames that you can find. So click open. And then here's your file over here. And then we are going to add the second one to the password. That's position two. Also do the same, put random file, select file. And then here we are going to use the user password, HTTP. Click open. And then we are going to start the attack. So as you can see here, the attack is currently happening and you can see all the combinations, user and then the password, these are all the possible combinations. Over here we have admin, we have manager, we have the password as password and so on. So you might be wondering how are we going to know which one is the correct combination. So all you have to do is look at the length. So the length is the size of the page, basically. It's, it's a combination of all the incorrect username and the password. So as you can see here, we have similar lengths. And if they are similar, it means that they're incorrect. So you have to click on the length twice. Let's see, once. Okay, and then click again, let's see. So as you can see, 5072 is a different length from the other ones. As you can see, this is 503053, all of them are the same, and then this one has a different length, meaning that it has to be the one because it has a unique length. It's different from the other ones. The other ones are incorrect, and it's the only correct one. So let's see. So it says that the username is admin and the password is password. Okay. Let's now close everything and see if we got the correct combination. We're just going to close everything. We are just and also don't forget to close your intercept. Go on proxy, close your intercept and then close burp suite so let's see the password combination that we got so it said the username is admin and then it said the password is password password let's try to log in not now and there we go that's how you get the username and the password as you can see it says welcome to the password protected admin area so that's how you do your cluster bomb attack on Kali Linux using Burp Suit on the DBWA website. Thank you.